Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you guys how to download bulk data from the SEC, which contains financial statement data for various companies. And the way they gather this is by quarter. So here, if you click on this link, they have data downloads for each of the quarters. So I'll be showing you how to download this. So let's head to our studio. All right, so we're gonna load some packages and the link to the site that I was on is this one here. Now I'm gonna download each folder ranging from the last quarter in 2021 to the first quarter in 2018. So here I'm just gonna run this line. I'm gonna create URLs by passing in this URL along with the year and the quarter. So I'll go ahead and run that. So I'm gonna use LFI and pass in all of the URLs. I'm gonna use download file and this will download the zip file in your working directory. And then I'll create a separate folder for each of the quarters and unzip the data there. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this and we'll take a look at the working directory. So here are the zip files being downloaded along with the directory in which I unzipped this file in. So it'll continue to download the data until all of the quarters have been downloaded and extracted. So let's go back to our script here. So each of those folders has several text files, but the one I wanna focus on is called num.txt. This contains all the numerical variables inside the financial statements for all the companies within that quarter. So what I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and pass in the year and the quarter, and I'm gonna go ahead and extract that text file, and then I'm gonna put everything together by using our bind list so that we have a nice data frame to work with. So I'll go ahead and run this block. All right, so now that we read in all the numerical variables, I'm gonna go ahead and extract some company info just so we know what ticker the data is for. So I'm gonna go ahead and read the sub.txt file, which contains the metadata and company info. So I'll go ahead and read that in. So let's take a look at the num data frame first. So I think the way this is grouped is by the access number of each filing, which is the very first column. The next column is the tag column which gives us a description of what each value is for. And then we have a date column. So as you can tell from this data frame, we don't have any info on what ticker this is for. So we're gonna use the sub data frame. And I'm gonna go ahead and match up this access number with the company name. And if you scroll to the right, we can find the ticker names in one of these columns which will be the instance column. So here for some of these, we can see that we actually do have a ticker. So again, I'll be using the access number and extracting this ticker from the instance column. So let's go back to our script here. So in order to do that, I'm gonna use a function called get tickers. I'm gonna pass in that sub data frame. I'm just gonna subset by CIK name and instance columns. I'm gonna do a bit of string formatting on the instance column to extract that ticker. And then I'm gonna return everything as a data frame. Let's go ahead and use that function by passing in our sub data frame. So here now we have a data frame called CIK lookup. And if we click on that, all right, so now we have a list, but let's try and search for Apple and see if it finds it. So here we have Apple and the CIK number along with the company name. Let's do another one. Let's do Tesla. So here we have Tesla's ticker, company name, and the CIK number. So now let's go back to our script. All right, so now that we have that table, I'm gonna use this function called getRev to extract the revenues for each of the quarters of a particular company. And the first thing I'll be doing is looking up the company by CIK number. I'm gonna be looking up by the access number to get all the filings for the ticker we pass in. I'm gonna get the unique access numbers. And in order to extract the revenues, I'll be using my num data frame, which contains all the data and the values that I need. And I'll do our bind lists so that we are buying all the data together. Once we have our revenues grouped, I'm gonna go ahead and subset quarterly data only and you need to look up the tag for the particular company you're extracting revenues for for the companies i've tested most fall into this revenues or revenue from contract with customer excluding assessed tax for some reason they use this tag for revenue so if you're missing any revenues for the company you look up just make sure you look up the tag which can be done on the edgar site so what i mean by looking up a tag is if you go to the edgar site you search for the company you want go to any of the 10K or 10Q filings. So depending on what you want to extract, here I want to extract the revenues. I'm gonna do a quick search. All right, so here we have Google's income statement. So in order to extract the revenues and get the tag for that, you just click on this. What we want to focus on is this part after the colon. So it'll be revenues for this particular company. So if we go back to our script, as I mentioned, most will fall into this revenues category, but if it's not pulling it, then you will have to manually look that up. And then I do a bit of formatting on the dates, the file dates. I'm gonna go ahead and add the ticker. I'm gonna go ahead and combine everything as a data frame, do a bit of formatting on the column names. 
and make sure some of these columns are as numeric. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this function. Go ahead and use this. So if you wanna get the revenue for Tesla, we'll just run this. We'll go ahead and assign it to something. All right, so if we take a look at that data frame, so each of these lines contain the changes in revenue compared to the same quarter a year before. And here we get the filing dates and the ticker. So I also built a function to get the revenue for all the tickers in this quarter, but this takes a while to run. So I'm not gonna go ahead and run that, but you can go ahead and test that. All right guys, so this is what I have so far. In later videos, I'll be going over the SEC API so that we can extract the latest SEC filings since this is just downloading bulk data for prior quarters. So stay tuned for that. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description area where you can find the script. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.